Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? I'm very well. So congratulations on Shepherd. I thought it was so fascinating as a film because it captures parts of the human condition we don't see in film and TV very often and captures in a very visceral and cinematic way, um, which of course your performance was a huge part of. So I'm curious how you went about playing Eric. So that's a really interesting question because uh, in this round of um, chatting to people that I meet you on, um, I keep using the word visceral a lot. Um, and, and, and I think that's actually, that was for me the key. I, I don't know if that was just because there wasn't the same dialogue you'd normally have because it was me alone on, a, on an island, but I also felt like the way to try and make this uh, tangibly real for an audience was to consider what the animal of Eric would go through and try and step into his energy, his vibration, if you like. Um, I read the film for the first time on holiday. I was, it just was quite an odd place to read it, yeah. Right. So I dived into the film and, and read it and I was completely immersed in the world of it and, and came out and I, I, very, I felt very empathetically drawn to Eric and, and to have lived in his shoes for that hour and a half of reading it, I, I just, it, the residue of that really stuck with me. Um, and I came back from holiday around my age and I really want to do this and went and met Russell and. And I felt like what Russell had done in the script, I felt like there was um, a real sensitivity in the mapping out of the, the transitions that Eric takes through the film and, and how his psyche is and the state that it is in as when we meet him. And also there the, the felt a, a real sensitivity in, in, in Russell's kind of storytelling in terms of how that kind of disintegrates through the film. And, and, mm -hmm. and I agree with you. I, I, I don't think we, all, we always see that told so delicately and 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 i found that quite brave and to, to take that and put that in this as the the heartbeat of what is ostensibly a genre film i equally found very brave so i was i was really 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 ex wanted to tell this story so i know the shoot was very challenging i know it was a short shoot um but the weather was very challenging um but it was a very intimate shoot in terms of the cast and the crew most of it was you, of course, um, on screen, but I imagine that really helped with crafting the tone and really the poetry that's seen in the film. Um, it's really a tone poem, the whole thing. Um, so how was the shoot for you? Uh, a tone poem, I really like that. Um, yeah, I guess it is a tone poem. Um, the shoot was, the shoot was, I mean, the sh you know, it, well, it, <laughs> Eric isn't in, in a place that is very um, healthy, very uh, optimistic. So it would be disrespectful, I think, of me to the tone of the piece to say the shoot was great because right. my job is to step into his world and try and make that real. And, and it's, he's not in the best of places. But in terms of the crew, in terms of what we achieved with the conditions that we were shooting in, they were just beyond incredible. And, um, you know, for me personally, being on the island was a gift. It did, it did so much of the work for me. The, na the, the, the idea of a, of a human alone, or albeit with a very lovely dog, but like meeting nature and, 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 and kind of trying to find their identity through the power of nature. I had to be on the island, but for the crew, it was, I'm sure it was incredibly challenging. And they're, they're, they just dug in and, and we got it made. And, and so, yeah, it, it was, um, it was a, it, it, there were many things that made it a crazy seven weeks going and moving to a, ho I moved to a hotel far away from anyone else after, I can't remember, a week or so, whatever it was, because I kind of realized I wanted to stay isolated as much as I could. And, right. you know, that, that, was, that was odd. But um, <laughs> listen, it, we, if, 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 if it's seven weeks of our lives for a film that, that last, is here forever so it's worth whatever it takes I think to try and make it as as good as we can do within the circumstances. Mm -hmm. Now the film has played at the London Film Festival, the Stockholm Film Festival, played in the UK for a while so I'm curious what sort of reactions did you receive to the film? Uh, well I don't know I'm not a big <laughs> one for reading, I don't read a lot of reviews I try and kind of just let it be out there. Um, right. But when it, when, it, when it screened at the, the film festival, I managed to, to get myself a bunch of tickets to my friends and my parents came and whatnot. So 
it's quite interesting asking for their reactions because I think everyone has a different interpretation of what the end means. Yeah. But I think I think fundamentally for me it's you know what I did feel like with my friends at least and whoever else I've spoken to in the industry or whatever it may be is that it seems that people are able to when I first read it, I think I mentioned this to you before when before we got cut off, I very um I felt very empathetically drawn to Eric when I read it. And I, and, and I really mm-hmm. felt like I'd lived in his shoes for an hour and a half. And I found it quite, I found that residue stayed, the residue of that experience stayed with me for a few days. And, and, and I, it felt very important to me that within the, the, the construct of a, of a genre film that, that that stayed there. And, um, and, you know, when you then bring that character to life, you go, oh my God, I hope, I hope I've done this right. And then you put it out there. And um, I do feel like the people I've spoken to, they went on that journey. They stepped into Eric's shoes and whatever their version of living that with him would be, it felt like they had at least lived it with him. And, and that's fundamentally for me, the most important thing about the film. I hope people can do that. I hope it's, that it's relatable in that way mm-hmm. and reachable in that way. Mm-hmm. Did you watch the film? Do you watch your own projects? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, I mean, I say yes, and I mean, like you know, if it's a TV series, I don't set an alarm for every week and watch every single minute. Right. I think, funny. but like, I like to kind of watch like at least the first episode because I find it quite, I find it quite informative. Because you, you know, as an actor, as a human, you know, it's tricky to be. We're all subjective, right? So you, you you think you've done one thing, and then you look at it and go, "Oh, wow, okay, I, that's not what I thought I was doing at all." And equally, <laughs> yes. there's other moments that you might go, "Okay, I think that is what I tried." To, okay, brilliant. And you can kind of assimilate that and, and learn from that. And and so I always watch for that reason. Um, yeah, but I like I find it I find it odd watch. So like with Shepherd when it screened, I ran away after a minute, and I stood I stood in the in the corridor of the cinema. So I watched it um, with a gin and tonic in my hand, um, <laughs> but, but I didn't want to watch it with all my friends and family. I felt like that would be too intense, you know, but yes, I do watch things back. I think I want to learn as an actor. I want to get better. It's the, it's the best way to improve, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now you've worked with some amazing scene partners, amazing collaborators over the years. I know you've collaborated with Chiwetel Ejiofor for a few times. Um, I know you really loved working with Rory Kinnear. Um, so who have you worked with in the past you'd love to work with again? Or perhaps new people that you'd love to work with? It's a really interesting question. Um, Chiwetel was quite incredible. I was fortunate enough to be directed by Chiwetel as well. He did a short mm-hmm. film, um, which was wicked. I mean, he, Chiwetel's intelligence as a human, but as an actor is off the chart. Um, I'd love to work with Chiwetel again. There's so many people. I mean, I think that, I think the thing is that when you're starting out and all right, I'm not in my twenties anymore. And I definitely felt like I was starting out through all of my twenties, but I still feel like I've got so much to learn is that you really learn, I think by going up against people that are better than you to put it really like kind of bluntly, I guess like that's the joy is like, you're incredible. Like, let me just see if I can do this with you. Let's learn from you. Let's, try and level up and there's been so many actors I've been very 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 lucky that I've worked with good actors and good people I have to say that um not only challenge you in the right way in the scenes but I've been incredibly supportive outside of the scenes so the list is massive but who would I like to work with who I haven't I'm, a, I'm an enormous fan of Gary Oldman um I'd, I'd give any I'd give my, I'd give anything to just dive in a scene with Gary Oldman I think when he's on fire I think it's just electric so let's say Gary Oldman. Great answer. And I'm curious, what have you been watching or reading? I know music is important to you, so perhaps listening to that you've been really into. Uh, it's interesting, yeah. I mean, I've kind of been mad busy recently, so uh, I've, I haven't really watched much, um, which I think sometimes when you're really like delved into it, you, when you could, like the evenings or whatever, for me, I, I just want to get as far away from it as I can, you know. You, you know, right. Apart from on Shepherd, it, because it was interesting. Usually, I do that. I come out, I come off set when I'm in the other character, the character's clothes. I'm in their rhythm, put my jacket on. I'm in my rhythm. I think on Shepherd, I did seven weeks in Eric's clothes, and then really like left them behind. But ordinarily, it's not like that. So I've not been watching a ton. I've actually dived. I've dived into. Two, so I watched um, a documentary about the KLF the other day, which got me deep, in the last like week. I've got deep into um, like early '90s, like 
acid house and stuff. So that's been the last like week of my life. And before that, I was I was going right through kind of Atlantic soul, listening to that and deep into that. I used I played in a soul band for many years on and off with my dad, which was great fun. Um, we haven't gigged in a couple of years, so I think I was kind of pining for that. So I was going right through Sam and Dave and whoever else it may be and playing all that stuff. So I think I've been kind of delving back through. I've got all my CDs out now and I know the world's moved on, but nothing gives me more pleasure than to sit down and put on a vinyl or put on a CD and listen to an album in, in full. So I've been doing that as much as I can. and It's been Atlantic Soul for the last month or so, I have to say. But you want to return to music? Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, like to play like for fun, yeah? Do I want to go back to being in a band and dreaming of it all? I mean, I write, I write songs every day, you know, that I, I play guitar every day. I, that's how I kind of, I don't know, that's how I zone out. That's, that's what I do. So there's, there's tons and tons and tons of songs there, but I don't know. If, may, maybe, maybe I should like drop, drop a, a tape of them all on, on a tube one day and hope someone releases them without me having to do it. <laughs> you know, I, don't know. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you so, so much for the art that you bring into the world, Tom. I really appreciate it. Have a lovely day. Thank you for this. Thank you for taking the time. No problem. Real pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank See you, you again.